Hello guys and welcome back to another brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends got something really really awesome that I want to showcase to you guys and share with you all within Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And this is something that you may not already know about. It's been in the game now for a little while and as it is, I wanted to share this with you all. And obviously you're looking at this thinking, Aaron, why are you in offline custom games within Black Ops 4? And obviously in case you weren't aware and you've only just like brought the game, there is a brand new um, like supply stream system that's been implemented into the game where you can earn free stuff by completing tiers to unlock unique items. Some of them are going to be signature weapon variants and stuff. And as it is, if you go into local player, you're going to be able to use them. But all, there's only a little catch to it though, guys. Asita's, if you disconnect from the internet, boot up Black Ops 4, go into local player, go over the creator class system, you can be able to see some of the new variants that are in the current Operation First Strike um, like event. So this is one of them, as you can see. This is the Demiscus, and it's basically a ultra-signature um, weapon and variant of the GKS. So what I thought I'd do for you all, since it's in the game and it's giving me the opportunity to obviously use it without actually obtaining it within the past. So I thought I'd try to show you guys against bots how this works. Obviously, if you're still connected online and you went into local play, it probably won't work. And I can see Treyarch trying to patch this. So all I can say is if you want to use these weapon variants, these signature weapon variants, I recommend you do this as soon as possible because the thing is... These are obtainable using the tier pass. Like, there's even ones for the Blinding Glory, which is at the end of the tier pass, like the rank 200. And the seaters, and these, like, um, this tier pass is going to refresh every so often. It's going to be out, I think it's every 54 to 56 days. And then they're going to implement another tier pass. And the tier pass system works very similar to how Fortnite does with their Battle Royale, like, battle pass. So, a seaters, you're going to get free stuff for ranking up. And I see you're going to get even more stuff, obviously, because you've got the Halloween event as well. So you're going to get two sets of stuff. And all you need to do is just keep playing the game. As long as you're playing multiplayer or blackout mode, you're going to be obtaining this stuff by... Basically, it's going to level up a little bar through... I think it's through experience or through time that you played. And every so often, every single time you fill up that bar, you're going to get an award. So there's 200 rewards. You know I mean? You get 200 free items. And there is like these new crate things that are in the game as well, which is called like reserved crates, which is basically light supply drops and they give you an exclusive item. So if I know Activision, they're going to be making a way where you're going to be able to buy these soon. I know that for a fact. They're going to be like the new version of supply drops. So me personally, I'm a fan of supply drops. I like them. You know what I mean? It's always something I like doing on the channel. But I wanted to see your thoughts and opinions on what you think of them, guys. Like I want to know your thoughts and opinions on what do you think of signature weapon variants. It's basically like how heroic variants were within Call of Duty World War II. But obviously, they've got a nice detail to them, like how heroic variants were. And the seaters, they look pretty good. Like this variant I'm using of the GKS is pretty nice, bro. You know what I mean? It's pretty nice. It's got a nice little pattern design on the side of it. But some of the other ones that you can use are just insane. Like there's the Titan's got one called the Sandstorm. Um, the Maddox has got one. Um, the ICR's got one. Like, there's quite a few guns that have variants, and eventually every single weapon in this game is going to have a signature weapon variant, which I've got to get used to saying signature weapon variant, not hero variant. But it's like throughout the tier pass stuff, they're still going to go through different variety of like items. You're still going to have common, rare, I think they've got legendary, I'm not 100% sure, and then there's epic, which is second best because the ultra is what you're going to be wanting to look for when it comes to signature weapon variants. But I want to know your thoughts and pains on what you think of this, guys. And obviously, try it out for yourself, okay? Before Treyarch end up probably removing it from the game, try it out for yourself. So, I would, like I said, just give you a little recap on what you need to do. Boot up your console, disconnect from the internet. Like, I'm doing this on the PlayStation 4 right now. And I've known about this for a little bit of time. Proceeders with these... Um, like variants, I like. I wasn't aware that these were going to be the tier pass um, unlocks that you can get um, until obviously they launch the trailer for it and showcase some of the stuff that you're going to be able to get. But I see it is, if you want to use them, disconnect from the internet when you booted up your console, boot up Black Ops 4, and go into local player. Make sure you're still not connected to the internet. Then go on to create a class, make yourself a class, 
And then you'll obviously you're going to cross the certain weapons. You'll notice there's like a little arrow above the weapon. And um, push up, and you'll see there's there will be a variant that you can use of it. So you can use it to test it out against bots, have a good feel for it, and then eventually, when you've made your way through the tier pass, if you put a lot of grinding time into it, you're going to be able to unlock all these for yourself to use in online use. So. It's one of them, but I'm going to be showcasing all the variants that are currently in the available in the game that you can use in local player, um, including the level 200 tier ending pass like ultra signature weapon variant, which is the blinding glory of the ICR. I'm going to even make a gameplay on that soon, and when I do unlock it online, I will make a proper gameplay with it against other people. <clears throat> but I just want to know your thoughts and opinions on what you think of this. Hopefully, you all like it, but. The downside is, though, I didn't really like playing against bots. It's something that I'm not really too keen of, but I suppose it gives me a little bit of practice, I guess, with the game, you know what I mean? So, it's all good. It's not like I'm going to lose, is it? So. <laughs> but it's kind of like how they did with Black Ops 3, where they had DLC weapons, and if you went onto local custom games, you'll be able to, like, use these sort of things against bots. So, it's one of them. I need to, need to keep moving right now. Well, I've still gone on free crawl as well. What am I doing with the Blinding Glory um, that, like signature weapon uh, when it comes to making a video on it? Because I'm going to make separate videos on them. I'll probably go into like a longer game so I can show you guys what that, la what that weapon variant is like in action because out of all of them, the ICR Blinding Glory I think is my most favourite one because it just looks so good. I don't get me wrong, all of them look good, especially this one, because I like the sort of like design on the side of it. But I wish this one had a little bit more colour to it, just a little bit. So sweet right now. I let my score streaks do their thing. This is a very nice. Well, let's get the touch up in the game. Showcase this variant. Let my helicopter do all the work, you know what I mean? This looks sweet though. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. What do you think of the GKS Demiscus um, SMG variant? Like, I think it's pretty cool. You know what I mean? These signature weapons are going to be a thing for the future, and they my luck, I'm going to be grinding for them like I want them. But hopefully, you all enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I see as I've had a lot of fun showcasing this signature weapon variant. I've got to get used to saying that, I know. So, I do apologize if you ever say in future videos, heroic weapon variant. It's just because I got too used to saying it with World War II. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. And if you enjoyed the video, like I said, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you turn on the post notification icon to notify you when I upload any new content in the nearby future webs on Black Ops 4 or any other great game, guys. But you covered up on the channel. I'll catch you up again next time.